interview Shy Guy. <laughs> Should we get Shy Guy here instead? Oh no, he's playing PM. Alright. He's playing, he's playing PM. So, Laska, you won the tournament. Yeah. Did you expect that? Uh, well, after I beat, uh, I beat uh, Green, I was looking pretty positive. Um, I was more afraid of actually facing Casper than uh, Green. Most because, like, Green is a really good player, but Luigi has a lot of matchup problems, in, especially with Bayonetta, because I can just, like, run away and just keep hitting his shield. And, um, yeah, it just makes it way harder. Um, I, I was way more uh, scared of facing maybe, like, Rudy or... Casper, but um, I, I got under Casper's skin and I tried to, I really got the SDI down on like his uh, up ease so that I know that Casper has, he hates, like his thing is that he hates when his up B misses, mm -hmm. so I, I was even trying to like, even let him take my early stocks in order to try to get the miss hits so the second hit wouldn't connect just to tilt him. Oh. Um, and that's like because I know Casper kind of gets out of his mindset if that happens. And Casper's neutral is so scary. Like usually it's Bayo is known as a counter to um Bayo is known to counter as a meta knight because like you have a lot of good tools to keep him out and but the thing is like even even though he has that he's so good at keeping people out, like insanely good. <laughs> so and and he just grabs me for like every which time I try. Of course they happen once in a while. But Casper gets a little fishy and that's really what I tried to capitalize on in this game. Even but his SDI was so good. I there was a lot of like things that dropped where I was like, oh shit, there was better SDI than that than he usually does. He also looked like he got out of a lot of stuff. Like it looked like that the upbeats would have connected, but then you just win yeah. it out of it. Uh, yeah, so I what I did is that like, usually I SDI like really hard, but I just I went so try hard on the SDI my hand still hurt from it. Mm -hmm. I was like I was like I was dropping my controller into my knee and then just went like really ham and really just using my muscles Ouch. so hard as I could and um, so I STI'd out really hard and I, I, I've seen Casper's obviously so many times so I know usually when the last one comes and on the last one I STI out in as hard as I can just in just above him so that he like so he, he lines up because he has a blind spot he can't angle it in which can kill earlier but sometimes even the angle in he, he misses and that's what I aim for yeah uh, one one thing that I really know, that I noticed a lot in this set was that what I saw Casper do a lot that uh, I didn't seem to do too much against screen was against screen he like stay away go in gets hit yeah and then like but I knew he was constantly in there yeah that's because like Bayo as a character is really scary because she has good time mm -hmm. but she like some people don't really agree with me but she has kind of bad frame data so of course it's it's still pretty. And her wall game is really good because the hit drops are so huge. But once you get in on Bayonetta, and if Casper is really, really good, it's like guessing when I'm gonna wait time. So if he can like stand, if he can get close to me, it's kind of hard to get him off. Of course, I can wait time in some situations, but if he reads it, he just like up smash me or forward smash usually. As you saw, like after I took a game, he just rushed me there. After I took uh, on Sun City game two. He just, uh, I was standing on, I just still stuck and then he like, I was standing and I was like, ah, I'm gonna do like this roll with each time. And then he just saw it and just stood up and just forwarded and charged the forward smash. And yeah, he... I saw that. So I, I, remember that. I was like, that was my main, main, main concern, like the one he was going way too much in. Yeah. And I feel like if he went just a bit more patient, he could have gone yeah, yeah, And he, he was all, he was really fishing, like, yeah, yeah, he was like, there with the cap, yeah. at the cap, at the bay. Like, rolling, rolling, rolling the freaking ball. Like, it was yeah, way too much well, The thing is, like, I can hit his kill and then things are usually safe, so he has to roll in. And it is it is hard for me to in general to, to also seal the kill. If he can't get his, uh, his other things, he kind of has to be fishy, but it's something that Casper has been working on um, slowly. And I, I know that, so I'm just really, really just standing in shield, even though I, know I get grabbed for it. But it's way better than just, like, getting getting rush messed. And the thing is, like, what he faces the most with his up smash and uh, the original K with the, with the attack, and mm -hmm. both are uh, both can be punished by F smash up shield. Yeah, I mean they, they have a lot of lag. Yeah, they are like it's well, like up, it's up really smash is less lag, but yeah, but like my no, nah, it's actually pretty. I like my up smash is from twenty, and I can even I don't even have to do it out of shield. I can just let go of my shield and up smash. To okay, so it's like it's at least thirty eight frames of lag, if not more. So, but like. I like to face Casper, but in general I'm pretty good at getting in his head and 
which we've seen also seen like in the Copenhagen area. We should have had SSB up here. That would have been so much more fun, man. Ah, but I was I was so happy to see my fellow Copenhagen player in uh, Denmark and Casper and me are really good friends and we play like all the time. Mm. We at least play like two times a week to practice. So. You, all, you, you also seem like you were like trying to uh, comfort the Casper after he did that L14 SD, of course, because you yeah, probably yeah, not Yeah, because like I don't, like while I want to win because there's money on the line and like everything in Denmark because there's been a lot of like controversy on who's the best. Um, mm. And I think I might have, I hope I have established that I'm worthy of uh, the best place in Denmark. Mm. But um, but as I also want to see like a good game, and I don't want my uh, companion who's made it all this way to just get like 3-0 because of like a yeah. And he's like, he's really good friend, so I don't want him. I want him to do well. Yeah. Of course, not against me as well. As well. I want to, of course, I want him to take me to game five, and then I win because that, that matters to me. Mm. But also for Casper, <laughs> I could imagine that it's it's important for him to. Like, he wasn't even concerned. I, when I talked to him, he didn't really, it didn't seem like he killed it. He was like, I don't hope I go 3 0 against you because he, usually I win our tournament sets where I think we're like 18 5 in sets or so. And the, he hasn't won against me in at least 6 sets or so in our tournament matches. But he just wanted to not go 3 0. He wanted to at least call it, he wanted to at least call it in a, a reset. But it's not that he doesn't believe, but. I think Casper is just, he, he doesn't like to brag about like how good he actually is because he is really, really good. And his neutral is amazing. I have so much I could learn from him, honestly. And compared to like, I played Smash for like a year longer than Casper or so. And he hasn't played in tournament at all since before like kind of recently compared to like a lot of other players. Yeah. His neutral has evolved so amazingly. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that like Miss Knight only has a few tools to uh, to his neutral, but he uses them so well. I, I definitely feel like uh, Casper is showing, uh, showing that Mena like, can still uh, pull off stuff. You know, people are saying that he's like mostly just a pocket character. Like it's hard to solo main him, but Casper is showing that it can be done and can be effective. Yeah, and like you see, currently. Uh, Marm, who has uh, well, I've beaten Copenhagen, Copenhagen area, who's, mm -hmm. who's the best and green, he like he takes Marm to game five and he just upset green pretty hard, like and it was it was three two, but like Casper did so well and it just shows that like Casper is our wildcard, but also that he has like the tools to play with the top players in Denmark and maybe uh, like he wasn't even on the PR, but if we make a new one, Casper is probably gonna be at least in top seven if not better. Definitely. Like I, I feel like he definitely should create yeah, like, a spot in top ten. Yeah, like he he's he took so many people off the PR at this uh, tournament and he even ups he, he, he completely upset it green. Yeah, man. he he double eliminated the uh, the guy who's fourth and he beat the guy who's second once. So like double eliminated the guy who's fourth. Who's, who's yeah, yeah, he played he played red in uh, pools and Is he that also. Is that shy guy? Nah, no, no, he's uh he's um fifth. He's fourth. Yeah, it's fair. He actually won against second and third. So, yeah. But, um, it's, yeah. It sounds like we have to uh, round off this uh, interview. Yes. Congratulations okay. with uh, yeah. taking Captain yeah, Lewis well, well, thank you. It was uh, it was really fun. Yeah. I, like, there's so many nice people here. I definitely could say to, like, newer players who's thinking about trying out the scene, you should really come. And, like, the day... The Danes are so nice. If you're from the day, uh, from the Copenhagen area, we have like weekly, we have like weeklies um, mm -hmm. every Thursday, and yeah. we play. And, we just, and, and it's not even tournament. You can just come like play, uh, play exactly. friendlies and just learn. Practice and I'd, I'd like to sit down with you, and I know just about every character. Just sit down, teach you like the basics of the game, and then we can go on to like. And then if you're feeling frisky to play some games, if you have it at home and want to compete and see if you can take me, you can come to Sundays where we have uh, tournaments. Yeah. All right. So uh, congratulations to Leske, and uh, he definitely proved that he's a uh, he. He can take the first place in Denmark if he wants to. He's talking a lot about the fact that uh, he's uh, he's talking about a lot of the fact that he uh, he feel like he could be number one in Denmark and uh, getting first at one of the biggest.